life. It's always fun to like talk and show you stuff at the same time. Yes, that um, basket is still there and it's the same one that was there last night. It's fine. It's towels. Um, it is Thursday. We are going on our little date, Merritt and I, to get all the school supplies. Not school supplies. We already ordered those to the school at the end of the year, which is amazing. If your school doesn't do that, you should push for it because all we had to do was fill out a little form and now I don't have to worry about school supplies. Um, going to get his shoes, first day outfit, anything else, I might probably run to TJ Maxx or somewhere fun because y'all know that's what I do. Um... We are, we, blah, 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 blah. What have I been doing? I put my clothes in. I did not do anything last night, y'all. They went to the fair and had so much fun. And now Craig's the favorite parent like he wasn't already. They rode rides and did games and ate food and watched the motorcycle race or the dirt bike race. Anyway, they had a big time. So now it's my turn to spoil Merritt today. We haven't heard any news from McCoy. They're not allowed to like, um, you know, have electronics or be able to contact us unless an emergency. So we're thinking everything is going well. Oh, I'm so nervous. Like, I know he's having fun. I just worry about like the night. I know all day he'll be fine, but like the night. But he must have made it through last night, so I guess it's fine. Okay, outfit. I have this fabulous puff sleeve, sort of. It is my um Apple Jade. This is Apple Jade uh autumn color. I should get that and make sure. I think it is. Okay, so this is Apple Jade and this is light sage. So it's really a good mix in between, and it's nice and muted. And I think it's a perfect autumn color. And I just love this minty color. It's always been my favorite color. Um, like ever since I was a kid. I think I told this story before. But one year. Um, I can't remember how old I was. But I had gone. Every summer we went to my grandparents in Louisiana. And stayed a couple weeks. And so one summer. Uh, I went. And um, I didn't know that they were going to do this. But mom and daddy had painted my room. And daddy had a shirt on that was this minty color. When they came to pick me up. And I said, like, oh. Daddy, that's my very favorite color. I love that shirt, you know. And they were both looking at it. Mom and Daddy were looking at each other like, oh, you like that color? You know, I had no idea what was going on. And I got home and they had painted my, well, you've seen my room. It's this color. <laughs> and I just love mint green. I've always loved mint green. Anyway, that is the shirt. It's so cute with the puff sleeves. I absolutely love this from Shein, of course. It's kind of like that apricot creamy one that I've been wearing a few times um, throughout the summer. But it's got like a ribbed detail on it. It's a little, I did, I did send this back for a bigger size. And it's still a little snug, but way better than it was. I just have it on with some jeans and those little um, slides that I've been wearing from Target. Um, jewelry is just more Shein. I'm just kind of wearing like a coral apricot color with this because I think it looks good together. I feel like this is messed up. There we go. Um, is this one messed up too? Yes. Goes like that, right? Um, and then some of my... Does that look cute? Bracelets that I made just to kind of coordinate with colors. So fun. Um, this is Autumn's Coral, right? I have it right here. Let's check. Okay, it's hard to see, but yes, it's kind of a mix between the coral and the apricot, but it's a good autumn color. I should really take this with me because every time we go shopping, I don't have it, and I'm like, oh, I wish I had my fan, and I always leave it on my counter. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to grab some bubblers in our little containers. I thought I almost dropped this, but I didn't. Um, 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 and then we're heading out for a fun day out shopping and eating and doing all the things. All right, Merritt's hooking us up with some bubbler before Ooh. we leave. <laughs> Hello, Summer. And I just have my pink one. Does it work? Yeah. Perfect. Let's roll. Okay, y'all. We have arrived at Merritt's lunch choice. Tell everybody where we're at. You. I'm kidding. Uh, Popeyes. Popeyes! He chose Popeyes out of all the places he could eat in the big city. We're at Popeyes, and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> all right, we got the goods. Black and chicken strips, regular for him. Biscuit and fries, and I got coleslaw because they don't have green beans anymore. Are you satisfied with your choice? <laughs> that was good, but spicy. Mine had like extra spice on it. Merritt's watching reels. Mom, look on my phone um okay we are heading now I got a little headache growing and i'm not loving it um we're heading now to go get the clothes from the cleaners that we dropped off when coy and i came and then we are going to shields for shoes and clothes it feels like we were just here weren't we <laughs> why do my children only want white shoes <laughs> he likes them but i think he wants to try one more pair yeah 
He can't decide. He likes these whites that have a little camo on them. Not, I don't like, I like they, these, but I like the black ones. And then he's got, oh, the, the gray. gray. He, there's some gray and like, yellow ones that he likes like, too. Why oh can't I just get both of those pairs and I use Sorry. my money to buy Too much, too much. I chose the gray and yellows. Maybe they'll stay clean. How did you find a Camara jersey in South Dakota? I already know how much it costs because Koi found a Titans one last time we were here and I wouldn't let him get it. <laughs> yeah. He's finding some Under Armour stuff. He likes this with these shorts. He says he's going to be more casual than McCoy. He doesn't want a golf outfit. Oh, I love those. Does it go with that shirt? But that's Nike. Merritt doesn't like Nike even though he's wearing a Nike shirt right now. There's got to be a shirt that goes with it. Is this it right here? That one? Does that go with it? I don't know. Of course, he's got to go on the Ferris wheel too. I'm not as cool as Daddy. I'm not going home with him. <laughs> I can't find him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Does he love it? I'm not sure. <laughs> How did we not see this photo op when... <laughs> when um, McCoy was with me. We gotta get your picture with this bear. All right, uh, Koi's gonna kill me, but I didn't know they had an arcade in the shields too, but Merritt talked me into playing Jurassic World with him. All right, he got a bag full of stuff. We'll show you everything when we get home. Right now, we're gonna head to TJ Maxx, the car, then TJ Maxx. We made it to TJ Maxx. I'm just checking out the purses. I really should get a suitcase. I need a moderate size, medium size suitcase, but. I'm not feeling like getting one today. Oh, that little flamingo duffel bag is cute. I haven't found much. Um, oh, this is cute. Camp life. I wish they had the cowboy. Camp life. Merritt, did you see this? Huh? Princess and the Frog. Oh, I bet it has, I can't see the back of it. Oh, here's one that's closer. So I have frog. Tiana. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. What are all these other ones? Like, ooh, I like camp vibes. Oh, McCoy needs that one. This one's so funny, Mom. That's fine. I wish they had cowboy coffee. Yes, Merritt's watching my phone like McCoy did. Oh, these are cute. And it says boo on the handles. Precious. All right, let's keep looking. All right, let's see if they have any fall candles. Merritt, smell this one. Sea salt pumpkin. How's this one smell? Weird? Ugh, uh-uh, that is nasty. I like this maple hazelnut, we might get that one. I think I need a candle for the fall, but I'm not sure. I mean, can you ever have enough? Oh, <gasps> pumpkin butter honey. Merrick, come smell this one. I love these DW ones with the barns on them. Mm. He was right, that one was gross. We're gonna keep smelling. <laughs> All the summer stuff's on clearance. Super Dad? No, I don't think so. That looks a lot I don't like, like the gnomes. I like that little truck though, but I don't decorate with too much Americana stuff. I wonder how much he is. Six bucks. Pretty cute, pretty cute. What does all this say? Honey lemon, pina colada. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> well, they do not have their fall up yet here. But this needs to come home with me for Christmas and Valentine's, $12.99. How cute is he? I already have one that I painted myself, but this one looks so much better. Step at TJ Maxx. Now a quick run to Ollie. Merritt loves to do the buggy. <laughs> All yours. Oh my gosh, from Brothers Away. I needed to stop here because I need to take keto bread to Mississippi okay, because it's hard to find. So then I can just take that with me and we'll have it. All right, you ready? Yeah. As always, we found way more than we needed, but we got the bread. We gotta go before the ice cream. Yes, we have chocolate in the cart. Let's go. Okay, Merritt says he's done, which I figured he is not my shopper. Um, what'd you get, Merritt? He got brookie cookie? No, just brookie dough. Brownie and cookie dough. And I got keto peanut butter fudge. Y'all know how we keep spoons in the car so that we can eat ice cream at all times. Ooh, that looks good, Merritt. Um, where I'll put this? Let's see. Ooh, is the trash back there? Yeah, put it in the trash. Is this car on? No. Now it is. Um, Okay, we got plenty of stuff at Aldi. I'll show you everything when we get home. 
TJ Maxx was a huge letdown. They didn't have any, they had some Halloween candy and stuff, like treat kind of stuff on an end cap, and that was it. No fall, no other Halloween. Um, we should probably leave this in here for um, like that home goods when I was with Koi. Oh my gosh, they had so much stuff, but this, there's this one. Let's get to yes. it. Tell me I'm not alone that y'all travel with plastic spoons too. You gotta put it down though, because I can't put this back on top. Um, anywho, we're gonna eat our ice cream and head home, and we will show you everything. It's not as much, because I just went last week, but I'll still show you everything when we get back. Okay, y'all, let me show you what we got from Aldi quick. Uh, this is mostly stuff to take to Mississippi, the keto-friendly uh, tortillas, which I don't think I've had before, but they have zero carbs, so I snatched up some of those. And then the bread is in here, what you saw. So I'm just gonna keep all that together so that it can go in the vehicle. Um, Merritt went to town and got blueberry muffins and banana nut muffins and donuts. I don't know where he's gonna eat all that. I just got a few things to take to the horse show. Um, some macadamia nuts, some keto crackers. Uh, I grabbed a few, our queens are gonna do a concession stand on Saturday, but I wasn't sure about Sunday, so I just grabbed a couple of Lunchables because I don't feel like making sandwiches. I just grabbed um, Craig a couple of these, just have cheese and crackers. And then for myself, I just got some, which the boys can eat this too, some dried salami. And I got, yeah, a little thing of cheese. Just cut up cheese as well to kind of make my own little Lunchable with the crackers down there that I already got. I cannot get this out with one hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hang on. Okay, so I just got cheese, salami, and crackers for my kind of little Lunchable, so I'll just keep all that in the fridge. And then I did get a bunch of their potato salad. I hope it's good. We have, um, there's Craig behind me. Um, so the Queens are doing a concession stand um, during the day on Saturday, and then we did this last year. I don't know if you remember if I shared it or not, but, um, the Queen's committee and the Queen's kind of put on a potluck. It's our last big show and it's a two day show and everybody stays overnight. So they're putting on a potluck and then we do like a big movie, um, like on a projector and have popcorn and all that stuff. And so everybody just brings a side dish and then the Queen's donated like the hamburgers and the hot dogs and Craig and another daddy will just grill all that stuff. Um, so I'm just not, like I did beans last year and we slow cooked them and I had the slow cooker and all that stuff. Like I just can't this year, I've got too much going on. So I just bought a bunch of potato salad and I'll put it in a bowl and it'll be fine. I just can't y'all, oh my gosh. Um, so tonight, yeah, I need to keep washing clothes and start packing and then tomorrow, I've got to sit down and fill out all 172 of their entry cards because I like to do that before I go so they're ready. Um, I did kind of clean out the trailer a bit and put all of the new starch clothes we got today, not new, but all the starch clothes we got today and got all that put in the trailer and kind of refilled the snacks and all of that. I'll need to get my little cooler that I got during County Fair back in the house to put like that kind of stuff, like the potato salad and stuff in. And then we'll just fill the other cooler up with Gatorade and all the drinks and stuff I got the other day. I don't know what else. And then I need to like pack. Like I was talking to my sister on the way home and she's like, what bathing suits are you bring in? And we're talking about like the beach and like, you know, going and looking for shells every morning. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to find my shell bags. I've got to get all of the goggles and the swimsuits and the towels and all of that stuff for the beach trip. Not to mention like the road trip that we're going on. And I've got to pack for that, which I'm super excited about. My daddy and I were talking about what we're going to do and the museums we're going to see and all of that. Um, and Merritt and I were talking too. And he hasn't been to Oklahoma since he was like two and a half, three maybe. So he's excited to go back to Oklahoma. Anyway, I got to get Koi back from camp tomorrow at noon and like unpack him and repack him for the horse show and then repack for it's I don't have time to be making any kind of food for this potluck so <laughs> they do not care it's just fine um okay let me get this stuff in the fridge and then I'm going to show you everything else we got okay I thought we'd sit down and show you the rest of it since I didn't do that when I hauled McCoy stuff it's always fun to like talk and show you stuff at the same time um Merritt probably won't do well I know he's not going to do a fashion show of his outfit because he's already outside clipping horses for the show this weekend so that's out of the question but I will show you what he picked out um okay let's do TJ Maxx first um I told you they had some Halloween stuff so um I'm trying to think if I have a picture if you're new 
But if you're an oldie but goldie, you know that we do a Halloween countdown and it's like, I made it a couple years ago. It's this big black like piece of leather fabric and I put pockets on it with numbers and they have little treats in it every day, 31 days before, or it's 30. And then obviously Halloween is the 31st. Um, if I can find a picture, I will put it in. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss when we do all the Halloween fun. But I always try to find fun and interesting little things to stick in there. And my boys love chocolate, which I think is so weird to me because growing up, I always liked, I never, if anybody ever gave us like a Hershey bar or something, just plain chocolate, I was always like, Bleh. like, where's the caramel? Where's the nougat? Where's the nuts? Like I never wanted plain chocolate. And my boys love plain chocolate. So I saw these just like little plain chocolate bars and they have fun little Halloween theme wrappers on them. So I did get this. How many is in here? I don't know. 10 maybe. Um... I don't know, whatever, I'll split it up. I'll probably do like, well, I just do one for, I'll put two in each pocket and then they each can have one because it's just supposed to be like a little treat or whatever and some days are bigger than others, but um, I thought that was a good buy and just something that I can have on hand for $5.99 um, and I will put regular Halloween candy in there too, but this is just kind of something fun. Then I saw these and I always thought that these, I never really looked at them, I always thought that these were like macarons or macaroons or however you say it but then i saw oreo out of the corner of my eye and they're milk chocolate covered oreos and both of my boys love oreos so i thought this would be a fun little treat and again i can just put two in each little pouch so they can have one a day you know it's just a little treat and then this will get me quite a few days and this will get me quite a few days since i have to do 30 of them um so i'll grab these as well 6.99 so a little pricier but if it is and it says Oreo with the trademark on it. So they must be real Oreos. So hopefully they're good. Um, more food, of course. I got some of these uh, keto cookies. I don't know. Those are probably too much money. $5.99. I have not. Oh, it says try all four flavors. Oatmeal, double chocolate, chocolate chip, and lemon. I do like a lemon cookie. Um, I don't know. These are probably just like those two good gourmet ones. They feel kind of soft, but I don't know. I'm, we're going on the road trip and the horse show this weekend, and I just grabbed them because I thought they would be good, so I did get those. Um, I have not tried those before, so um, if I remember, I'll try to let you know if they were good or not. I did pick up another one of these wisps because when I got these at the grocery store, they were like 7 bucks, and these were only $4.99, and I didn't think they had this flavor anyway. I would gotten... All that's sitting behind me to take to Mississippi and on that road trip. Um, the ranch flavor, and this one is garlic and herb. And I just thought this would be fun just to stick in my road trip bag again. Stuff that doesn't melt is always good. If we, if I end up taking it to the beach or just in the car um, while we're traveling, this stuff is good. And it, something crunchy like that's always nice. So I did grab that. And then I have a few other food things, but I thought I'd show you the rest of this first because I want to try these on camera. Um, Merritt saw this shirt. It's just a Lucky Brand t-shirt just says lucky brand and he is very into cactuses like his mama which i love um and he likes this kind of like sunset look too so we picked that up for him i don't know it's a large but we held it up to him it didn't look too big so maybe he can wear it to the horse show this weekend um tucked into his jeans they wear shirts like this or like little polo t-shirts to do their gaming events in um so we'll see if that fits in or not. If not, we'll just tuck it away until it does fit in. But that was super cute. Uh, this was $7.99. Super good price for a little um, Lucky Brand t-shirt. And then I need another puzzle like a hole in the hand. But I cannot resist this pumpkin one. Y'all know we love anything that has like variations of color in a puzzle because I just find it's easier to do and separate by color um, instead of like getting like a scene. Um, those are harder for us to do, but this is easier because you can separate. Okay, I'm gonna do this orange pumpkin now. Let me find all the orange pieces. Um, they did have one that was leaves that I almost got, but Merritt talked me into the pumpkin one and it was just like different color fall leaves, all like kind of a rainbow, it was really pretty. But these were $7.99, probably way too much money for a puzzle, but it's 500 pieces, which is about what we like. Um, doesn't take too long, so. We got this one to do this fall. And then I think the last thing um, besides those other treats I wanted to try was this necklace I thought was so pretty. It was in the case. And I usually don't look in the case, but I just happened to peruse um, over there and saw this out of the corner of my eye. And it was $16. I don't know what brand it is. It's got a little R on it. Rush is the brand but i just loved this for fall it's kind of got a pinky peachy apricotty color to it and then it's got this tortoise shell and it's got this really pretty 
I'll see if we'll focus on this and not my eyeballs. Um, are we getting it? Maybe if I do this. Let's see. There we go. It's really pretty green. And then this is kind of a pinky color. I don't know. I thought this was so pretty. And honestly, I think it would have looked pretty with the shirt I had on earlier. But I spilled ice cream on it. <laughs> Merit spilled ice cream on it. So we had to take our shirts off when we got home. But I think this is so pretty. And that apricot shirt that I wear sometimes with the big ruffle. I think this would look good with that. I don't know. I just love this. And all my autumn colors. So I grabbed that. Um, okay. Treats. I have never seen these. Y'all got to comment below and see, tell me if you've seen these truffles before. The Lakanto truffles. I got the mint and I got the salted caramel uh, milk chocolate flavor. And I want, oh, you gotta be kidding me. This one was open. If somebody took some of these out and they were expensive too. $6.99 for truffles. Let me see if it's got the same. I feel like somebody took one out of the mint. It's so annoying. I love that they're individually wrapped though. I probably will not take these on my trip just because um, I'll probably eat them all before I leave. <laughs> and it's chocolate, so it'll melt. Um, they stay good till 2004, so we're gonna try these. Obviously the green is the mint. Um, I don't know how many carbs these have. One net carb, that's pretty good. I usually love anything with Canto, so it's just a truffle. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It'd be so good like an after dinner mint. Cleanse your palate. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I love mint anything. Ooh, you can smell the caramel right away. This is the salted caramel one. Really should have some water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. Mmm. Rich. You only need one. It's a good thing they're individually wrapped. Um. Mmm. Those are good. Okay. Let's see. I have these sitting over here, but these were from Aldi. Merritt talked me into them. They're called, I couldn't find them on Amazon, but they're called Super Soakers Storm Ball Wrist Rocket. Y'all. These were $3. It's a big old box. $3 at Aldi. They had two left, so I got them. Obviously, both won. Yeet. I'm thinking, um, and it's Nerf brand. Can you even handle that? Oh, my gosh. Um, and it's basically, can you see what this little boy's doing? He, you, like, hold it almost like an arrow, like a bow and arrow. And then you shoot these balls. Like, you get them wet. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is un- or have them unwrap all this and then stick it down in like my pool bag to take to the beach or just to play and have fun in Mississippi or whatever. My mom usually like fills up a pool with water just to play in while they're there. Um, so for $3, I could not even believe the total steal. Okay, so I got those. Um, let's see, this is all the Shield stuff. Merit shoes. I got a little bag of goodies. Oh, he got something else that was cool too and on clearance. And then his outfit. I don't want to stick anything in that chocolate. Um, okay, first he got with his money these gloves. McCoy got football gloves too, so I guess that's all the thing, all the rage. Um, to use for flag football. He loves, as you'll see in his outfit, this hot orange, almost pinky color. Um, and they had like the green too. So these were like, I don't know, $30 or something. Yeah, 30 bucks. So he used his money for those. And then he used his money for this, which was on clearance for $9. And I'm guessing because nobody in South Dakota cares a lick about the Saints. <laughs> so he saw this right away on the clearance shelf and said, it's the Saints, it's the Saints. This is a $40 helmet that he got for $9. I've never seen the Saints wear silver before. I don't know. He didn't care. So I thought it was super cute and he can put it with all of his like sports stuff with his teeny mates and all that so he thought that was super fun so he got the little helmet as well with his money and then for his first day outfit he loved these shorts he thought that the maroon looked like mississippi state and he has some other maroon things that he could wear with these um and then it's kind of got that hot orangey coral like he likes they're just under armor shorts 
so he got those and then well i guess i can show you this together oh i guess we were looking at a hot orange coral shirt but anyway he ended up getting this one to go with it which has that coral color in it but it matches the short it's kind of it doesn't look like it matches and we went back and forth but i think it'll look fine it's a little boy he doesn't care um so it's got like the camo and the under armor and a red is his favorite obviously so this is his first day outfit we'll hang that up and he'll be good to go and then his shoes he almost got red ones and he almost got white ones he kept going back and forth and so finally he picked these which i was super excited about because <laughs> they're gray so they're like gray and almost like a neon yellow um they're just adidas so he doesn't have to tie them. He can just slip them on. Maybe that'll make him go faster because he is my slow boy in the morning. So those are his shoes for the fall. I got all that done. I'm feeling very accomplished on the school front. What is this? Oh yeah, um, McCoy had gotten, if you remember, he got his full outfit and shoes and then he got one more shirt um, to like wear the first week or whatever just to have um, for fall. And so Merritt found one too, and both of McCoy's was on clearance, and so was Merritt's for $13. So he loves anything white, which just kills me. He had white on today, and of course, ice cream all over it. But um, he loved this one because he thought this was baseball, and then football, and then basketball, his three sports that he plays. So he liked this and thought this was fun. And it's got its color, that hot orange coral. I don't know if you can tell that, but he picked that one out. So he can wear that like the first week of school, and it's white. And it'll get stuff all over it, but it is what it is. Um, and the last little bit is little stuff that I picked out and tried to kind of hide from him. I don't know if he saw it or not, but um, and thinking with the Halloween countdown, of course, I'm already like getting all the ideas for my advent ladder for Christmas, too. Like I said, Joe, better subscribe. Um, I saw these little teeny neato um balls and i thought this would be fun um and it's like the perfect size to fit down in that um little uh halloween countdown but it's got one extra so i'll just keep the purple one i wish it was pink but it's not um so merritt can have like the hot orange corally color and koi can have the blue um and they can both have those in the little halloween countdown and then i'll just keep the purple one because these are like a nice little stress reliever i don't know if you've seen those anyway i just thought this size was perfect i'm always looking for like little things um to put down in the countdowns so i got those and i don't y'all let's see they were oh no that's not the right i don't know how much these were y'all oh let's see mm, no that's the saints thing i don't know i don't know how much these were I was thinking they were $3.99, but now I don't. Maybe I put the receipt in my purse. Anyway, they didn't cost much. I was even surprised, like, the bigger balls to play with were only, like, $3.99 a piece, but I wanted it to be little to fit in the countdown. And then the other thing I got were these stick ball sports. Grip, mold, and throw. And they kind of feel like the Neato balls, um, but they're sticky, I guess. Moldable, sticker outer surface. I'm sure they'll be nasty, but I thought these were, I got the football for McCoy and the baseball for Merritt and whatever they can go back and forth they had a basketball too they love all three of those sports but it's fine um I don't know if I'll try to stick this down in a in the Halloween countdown it could go in an elf bucket for Christmas it could go in stockings um maybe even hang it on the advent ladder with a little clip so I just got those I thought they were cute and they were like five dollars a piece so something different I had not seen before and that, I've been talking a while, 14 minutes, um, is what I picked up today. I am, the reason I told you we're going to the NFR in December, so I'm like getting a little antsy about getting all the things done for Christmas. Plus, y'all know when I go to Mississippi, I try to go to the dirt cheap um, several times if I can to find little stuff like this for super cheap so that I, um, is that a child? So that I have things like that to stick in the, in the countdowns and stick in the calendars and stick everywhere um so that's kind of why i was going through all my stuff to see what i had um to see what i kind of needed to be looking for so y'all it's thursday i think the next time i'm gonna vlog is probably gonna be monday or tuesday on our trip um 
I will, we're going to places in Oklahoma, we're going to places in Kansas first, then Oklahoma, and then we ended up in Fort Worth. So I'm gonna vlog as much as I can and show you as much as I can as that trip. That's honestly more for me and the boys, um, just so we have the memories and my daddy likes to look back on them too, but I know y'all like to watch the vlogs too and see different places that you may not have thought to go or maybe you'll never go and you'd like to see them anyway. So. Those will be coming up, probably one or two travel vlogs, and then we'll start like Mississippi vlogs and any fun thing we do there. So that is what is happening. Make sure you subscribe. If you don't see me for a few um, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or I think I'll just miss maybe a Monday and a Wednesday, maybe just a Monday, you'll know that it's coming. Um, I am just struggling with being on the road and slow internet in Mississippi, but Merritt's talking to his friend on his iPad, so I better go. <laughs> Thanks so much for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we will see you in the next one, y'all. Bye.